a school friend of mine, um, Roy MacDonald, uh, he was killed out in Korea. Excuse me. And I had the horrible task of uh, wrapping him up in a blanket before he was sent off to the uh, American um, Graves Commission. And I had to take him up there as well. And that became a job that I'd done quite regular, taking the bodies up to the cemetery, to the American cremation. And the other thing I remember grows strongly over there, taking it back to the Americans, uh, the Graves Commission, where they used to clean and do all the bodies up nice before they went to burial. There was two marquees on most of the occasions I went there, and they were just full up of bodies, cardboard boxes with bits in and stretches and half, you know, very, very stressful. And these are Americans? The Americans used to do all that work of dressing and cleaning them up before they were sent for burial. But, I mean, what I mean is the bodies were from all the different Commonwealth oh, and American regiments? Oh, yeah. I mean, they, they could have come from all over. They weren't, they weren't just English, although I think probably where they were situated, they probably got a lot of English Aussies. There was a lot of them around there. New Zealanders, they were all close together. So they might have been a section that dealt with the area around where we were, really, you know. I can't honestly remember looking at any tags or anything and seeing whether there was anybody else. I personally at the time would have thought that they were all English people. <laughs>